Well, finding your life's passion certainly can be a challenge, but a woman in Noblesville says her faith and love for all things sweet set the foundation for her success. Yeah, she shared her story with Eyewitness News anchor Andrea Moorhead, hoping to inspire you to hear your calling loud and clear. German chocolate with the real German chocolate. Tanya Marshall's career began with six cookies in a toaster oven. I didn't have any money. You know, years ago, I lived week to week like a lot of women do. And I needed Christmas presents. From giving cookies as presents, she turned her gift for baking into a thriving 25-year career as the owner of Heavenly Sweets. I am where I am because of, you know, of God's grace and mercy. And I don't have an investor. I don't have a partner other than him. But little did she know that an office manager helping to get more exposure for Tanya's R.L. Wilson house for special events submitted her name for a Food Network television show. And they asked me what my five favorite ingredients were. You know what and I told them? Butter, 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 <laughs> and, and butter. butter. Special event. Tanya made the cut for Clash of the Grand Moss. My only prayer was I was not going to be the first one knocked off that show. <laughs> her show appearance and backstory about her hearing loss. Oh, Tanya, how you doing over there? She can't hear. She's deaf. Caught the ear of an employee of the Indiana Hearing Aid Company, which thought she would be the perfect spokesperson for Audible's newest iPhone hearing aids. I mean, I have a new life again. I'm born again. I don't, didn't have this before. And she hears music like never before, increasing her love for dancing. I can hear some cymbals. I can hear some flute. Yeah. Tanya won Clash of the Grandmas. She hopes her story inspires other women to have no fear about your passion, trust your instinct, and persevere. I failed. I've fallen down. I made some pretty nasty cakes before. I've made some stuff that got thrown in the trash, but you don't quit. You just keep at it. Good advice. That was our Andrea Moorhead reporting. By the way, Marshall told Andrea she donated some of her winnings from Clash of the Grandmas to the American Lung Association. She has an older sister who has emphysema. To learn more about her story, you can head to WTHR.com. And by the way, in the spirit of full disclosure here, Tanya did make Andrea's wedding cake 11 years ago. Oh, and it was good. <laughs> I'm I remember sure it was. that. Yeah. Well, there is growing concern about cyber.